You tripped and what happened? Sammy. Sammy. Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now this morning I'd come to Brills, Brills? Brill in Aylesbury and we've come to find the final resting place of Peter Ellis. I'll tell you a little bit more about him real soon. Um, it's a cold Saturday morning. It is 6.46 a.m. Ducking in and out of the shot there. 6.46 a.m. Um, early one this morning from Portsmouth. Sounds like something's living in the tree. Um, don't forget if you like the video today please give it a thumbs up uh, of course and um, if you want to subscribe to the channel please do so and also hit that notification bell so you get notified as to when any new videos come out now I'm trying a new different microphone today so hopefully this is better than the last previous new one I bought which was awful to be honest with you anyway I'll tell you a little bit more now I've only got a little bit of information on him because there's not really a lot I can find uh, but he directed some amazing programs and one thing personal to me Supernatural my favorite TV show ever um, and Peter directed two episodes of that from season one when he was alive um, so to me this is just like something that's a little bit special. So I'll tell you a little bit now about Peter Ellis. Peter James Ellis, 28th of January 1948 to the 24th of April 2006, was a British director of television episodes, including episodes of shows such as Supernatural and Criminal Minds. He was born in London and educated at Highgate School with his brothers Robin Ellis and Jack Ellis. He began his career at Granada TV in the UK, being placed on the director's course in the late 1980s. He moved to Hollywood, California, where he was based for the rest of his life. His brothers are John Stuart Ellis, born the 4th of June 1955, and is a British theatre and television actor from London, best known for his portrayal of villainous prison officer Jim Fenner in the TV series Bad Girls. He also appeared in the ITV soap Coronation Street as bookmaker Harry Mason. Anthony Robin Ellis Born the 8th of January 1942 as a British actor and cookbook writer, best known for his role as Captain Ross Poldark in the 29 episodes of the 1975 BBC classic series Poldark, adapted for a series of books by the British author Winston Graham. He directed many television episodes, working on productions in the United States, Canada, France, New Zealand and Spain. Peter Ellis died on the 24th of April 2006 in Los Feliz, Los Angeles at the age of 58. His credits are Falcon Crest 1981, The Optimist 1983, Diagnosis Murder 1993, Third Watch 1991, Queen of Swords 2000, Supernatural 2005, Season 1, Bloody Mary and the Benders, Highlander, he also directed seven episodes of The Optimist, six of which he co-wrote. The Season 2 of Supernatural, Everybody Loves a Clown, is dedicated to Peter's memory. So there we go guys, um, that's all the information I had there on Peter Ellis. There's not a lot about him really on social media and stuff, but he directed some you know, amazing programs. Uh, Criminal Minds, I love that, great series. Um, Falcon's Crest, some of you older viewers will remember that. Now, I want um, to say hello today to some of the international viewers that we have on Unusual Things as well, because we have people from America, um, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, Canada, all around the world, um, as well as you UK viewers as well. Um, and I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone from whatever country you're in. If I haven't mentioned your country, uh, I know we have France, Serbia, um, Germany as well. So, you know, all over the place really. So I've got to say a massive thank you to you guys and gals out there that do watch the channel. Um, 
and I want to carry on promoting it around the world as much as we can so that more people see it and more people are aware of what we're doing. Anyway, we're going to have a little look now for the grave of Peter Ellis. It's a windy one today, guys. <laughs> it's um, a nice little churchyard. There's a lot of people around considering it's so early in the morning and I'm just wondering whether there's a sports and social club over there, whether it's one of those things where loads of people are just turning up to get on the coach to um oh hello there i am one of the pe <laughs> if the people are getting on the coach to maybe go to an away football match or something like that i don't know buy yourself a state-of-the-art gimbal so it just doesn't ever hold your camera straight that's what i say anyway i see a church oh, the sun's starting to shine through let's have a little look shall we Does it open? Does it not? Let's find out. Oh. That obviously doesn't want to open. Anyway, hi everyone. Um, no luck at all. I'm, I'm gutted to be honest with you because I've been looking around the cemetery churchyard for a long time. It's freezing cold, it's early in the morning, um, and I can't find Peter Ellis anywhere. And I'm gutted, <laughs> I'm really gutted, because, um, like I say, he's a, a director of one of my favorite TV shows, and I really wanted to pay my respects to him this morning. But uh, sometimes it happens, you know. We've experienced it before. Um, but you get good word that people are in a place but it's always difficult when you've got nothing to gauge it on sometimes you know you get a picture of a headstone or something like that then you can gauge things on what to look out for and obviously what not to anyway it is icy cold before I die of hypothermia um, so I was just looking on the bench because there's a bench there and I thought ooh um, yeah before I die of hypothermia and end up in here myself which I don't really fancy being in here just yet, then uh, I'm going to call it quits, I think. I don't like quitting. I hate quitting. I hate being beaten by things like this. It really grates me. But, Peter, if you are buried here somewhere, I've even looked at all the um, interment of ashes where their um, little headstones are there but I can't find it. Um, but wherever you are, Peter, we, we did come to show our respect today and thank you for some of the stuff that you've done over the years. And me personally as well, like I say, massive Supernatural fan and um, I really wanted to pay my respects to him for making my favorite program. But, there we go. We can't win the mall, can we? I did see a headstone over here which says Peter on it. It just says Peter. Um, and what else does it say? Loved and remembered. And I got all excited. I thought, oh, I wonder if that's it. And then I looked around on the back and it's one of the um, local vicars, I think. So uh, bless him anyway. But yeah, there we have it. All Saints Parish Church in Brill. I've tried knocking the door. There's no one in. I've tried ringing a bell, no one answers. But let's just have a look. Look, it's a beautiful little place. You know, it's a shame I've driven all this way. It's a shame to waste it. Um, and that's why sometimes, just when people suggest things to me, I really do stress that I would like to see a picture of a headstone or a memorial plaque or something like that. Because, you know, you can have wasted journeys. I did have it on good. Um, good wording today that he is buried here uh, but sometimes you know it just happens doesn't it but there you go i don't know whether i'm going to put this video out or not so i don't know why i'm talking to myself but anyway if i do i do and if i don't uh, i don't but th there you go anyway from where am i brill brill from a cold brill morning i'll see you soon take it easy hi everyone i just want to say on the end of that video that the vicar got in contact with me the next day she phoned me up because I left a message for her and she said that there is a P. Ellis that's buried there, but it's not the Peter Ellis, which is a shame.
but uh, I just thought I'd let you know anyway at the end of this video. So, but, but thank you for watching, guys. As always, much appreciated. And maybe we will find Peter Ellis at another burial plot one day. Who knows? If you know anything, of course, give me a shout. Thank you very much.